Can you feel the hype? Woo! All right, anyways. Um. <laughs> All right, hang on, man. So he is risen. He is risen indeed. Welcome to Old Man Anthem Gaming, Scripture, and Commentary. I was going to do an anthem tonight, but then this trailer dropped this morning during Hear Me Out. I want to show it again. I want to talk about it. For anyone who wants to be here, we're going to talk some Star Wars stuff because this movie is coming and I just want to talk about it. That's all. Okay. So before I do that, I definitely want to pray. I uh, definitely want to pray for anybody who has anything. I want to go check the prayer request line, both in God mode activated as well as uh, the Shadow Realms um, to find out any, anything there for people who have latest uh, uh, prayer requests. Um, it's been, it's in, it's like, this thing dropped this morning. I was doing a show with Hear Me, um, Mr. Matado, who was actually on leave because he has he's moving. So we had I seen that Alan subbing in for that, as well as uh, Super Shadow J. And we we're doing a show in the middle of the show. Fire Resistant Podcast, who I guess was watching the actual Star Wars celebration, mentioned they dropped the trailer. So I immediately went to YouTube, tried to find the trailer, started watching it. I was distracted a little bit. So a point where watch the show, you can see that they're like, oh, Ken, what happened to Ken? He's like, he's not gone anymore. He's gone. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. So I watched it. And so I was chatting. My son came home and I told him about it and he kind of saw it. So I was chatting with him about some things that came up with it. Um, I also would like to see, I see right now that I can see that um, Watch Mojo has a breakdown <laughs> of the trailer. It looks like over here. So maybe we'll take a look at that and see where it shows anything of significance. But anyways, go ahead and put any prayer requests you have in there. We'll talk about, we'll do pray, we'll talk about Star Wars, okay? And we'll get hype about this, right? So, I mean, the one thing about me, you can see behind me, I am a Star Wars fan. You know, I've been, I was there at the beginning, not as early as some. I wasn't there on opening day, okay? But uh, anyways, it's coming out this Christmas, so... Um, before we get really started talking about Star Wars, we will do some prayer requests. So by all means, if you have anything you want to pray about, let me know. Like I said, I'm going to go to the uh, discords and see. I don't see anything really new. We still have a prayer for, um, well, obviously it's a long-term prayer because unless uh, God wants to uh, do a miracle, uh, Random Geek is his husband's aunt. Gloria is fighting cancer. All treatments have failed. Uh, we'll pray for Father Ironheart, who's looking for a job post-schooling. School's on. He is looking to be an associate pastor somewhere. Um, absolutely, Kai Boy. I was going to mention that. I was going to pray for your mom, your chest pains. Um, can you pray for her to keep that? Yeah. Is not having. Oh, sorry. That is fantastic. Not having chest pain. Also, pray for you and all you're going through. And trying to, I mean, I still think that, you know, uh, Mr. Gamer, Mr. Gamer's right. It's interesting how you sometimes play out the, especially the Ten Commandments, but honor thy like father and mother. And yeah, so we'll pray for you also, for your mom. And then I'm um, going to the Shadow Realms. I'm oh, sorry, it's into uh, GMA Discord. I don't really see anything new there. Yeah, oh, Sean. Yeah, Sean Gamer for pray, praying for some of his stuff. My secure gift. How's it going? We're going to do some Star Wars talk after we do some praying here. Um, pray for his Bible study. I have not heard from Sir Jaziel. I did see a Twitter Twitter post I think this morning about thanks for all the all the um, uh, prayers, but I actually DM'd him directly. Had not heard anything. I don't know what's going on there. So we'll pray for his daughter as well as for his help health. Sorry, I know he's been dealing with stuff too. So we'll do that. We'll pray for over God mode activated itself and all the streamers, all the Christian streamers out there. Uh, earlier, uh, myself and several other of us in GMA were were jumping around different Twitch streamers, checking out checking out new streamers, but also giving them the love and knowing that they're being seen. If we're not um, subbing, um, following them to follow them, so I got I got a chance to meet some new Christian streamers today. That's really cool, and I said I've been blessed by this guy. Okay? Um, been blessed by all the people I've met over the last couple of months, you know, and so all you guys included definitely. And I've, got, I've learned a lot. I've got a chance to pray a lot. I got a chance to understand more about what life is like, both myself as well as being a streamer and being a gamer. And so, yeah. 
And by the way, if you haven't noticed, right, I did fulfill my promise. I do have my earring, okay? I revealed it this morning. Actually, I was wearing it last night, but no one noticed it, okay? But uh, I did have on a stream today, on this morning. Hear me out. My 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 commitment with the debt for the 100-hour stream has been paid. But my plan is to wear this tomorrow at Bible study because I've mentioned to them. Sunday at church, because I mentioned it to them also. And then Monday at work, because I also mentioned it to them. So, come Monday, I will get rid of the earring and be back to normal again. And then I will start growing possibly a goatee again at first. I thought about doing kind of... I thought about trying to grow a Sir Jaziel beard, okay? I really don't like them directly, you know, but I thought I'd just try it. So, it was like, anyway, so we'll pray. I was waiting for some more, any more prayer requests in there. Um, thanks for posting... In the prayer class, Kai boy. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's um, open prayer. Go ahead, back. Um, Almighty God, we are so grateful for this opportunity to do this. That we have the technology and ability to do this, to stream across the world, and to help people. Uh, just have people come in and join and just talk about things. Um, to help pray for them, to learn more about God, if that's what they're looking for. They're looking for help for anything they're dealing with, but also play a game. But tonight we're going to play talk about Star Wars. So help us to be a kind and courteous as we geek out. Help us to remember that our focus is always on you. That even though we look at Star Wars and think, "Wow, the movie's coming out," we also ultimately know it's not our idol. You are our God. You are our King. You are the one we worship and praise. No one else. Game. Okay? Uh, watch over Kai Boy over him as he reads the Bible and learns more about you, and is able to have discussions with his with his mom about uh good and bad pastors and try to but still listen to her as she is the the mom to honor thy father and mother for if you do that all will go with you um but also watch over his mom to not have the chest pains anymore that she feels better now that it's gone away and she recognizes that because we prayed for her that things are getting better um and that god is there for her to helping her out watch over sean the gamer in dealing with his bible study and all that's going on with that and some of the anger and hurt but also over, watch over him and his siblings as they go to Grandma's house in a couple of weeks for, for Easter. Guide them, help them, Father. Watch over random Geekus' husband, but her aunt, his aunt Gloria, who has cancer, and they seem to have no more hope for anything they know humanly, but we also know that spiritually, sorry, um, supernaturally, things can happen through your will. But ultimately, Lord, comfort them, comfort them and guide them and help sure they made, they put their lives in your hands know who you are. Watch your father, uh, father Ironheart and all that he's going through and finding a job and finding a placement for him. Guide him to where you want him to be an associate pastor and helping out the church, you know, to learn more and take the word of God that he's learned and help other people and guide him, Lord. Watch over all the other people who have posted requests, either now or in the past, or those who have not posted it, but they're on, weighing upon their heart. Guide them, Lord. Help them, Father, in all they're doing. Watch over my friends and family and help them, Father, all having with them. And guide us in all our avenues and directions. And thank you so much for the opportunity to stream. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. All right. Okay. So I was gonna stream some anthem, but we're gonna do we're gonna do some we're gonna geek out on Star Wars, okay? So if you haven't you haven't known, amen, amen, amen. If you haven't known <coughs> the Star Wars trailer dropped this this so I'll give you um uh, those who don't know, this is the day or the weekend of the, I don't know if it's annually, but Star Wars Celebration. It's in Chicago. I was thinking of going to this, but I figured it would be in Florida or California, but Chicago, okay? So <clears throat> I wasn't interested in going to Chicago to watch this. But anyways, they had a panel with uh, uh, Stephen Colbert uh, hosting it. He's a big big Star Wars nerd from the beginning. And they had all the people there, J.J. Abrams, J.J. Abrams, director, Kathleen Kennedy, who's running the studio, as well as the actors, and as well as, of course, the robots to the droids. And, of course, at the end of the panel, they dropped the trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. So, I've been, I've probably, I'm probably up to 10 times watching this, okay? So... And I haven't finished it, but we'll watch it again. I'm going to talk about it as well. As I watched a one-hour hour panel. This morning, I was doing Hear Me Out, and Fire Resistance Podcast came in, so they mentioned the, the drop the trailer. I immediately went to, went to YouTube, started watching it. I distracted, but um, I want to talk about it. Then I then followed up later on watching the one-hour panel, 
So we'll talk about a little bit. And so here we go. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. When they dropped the trailers for episode seven, I was just blown away. It was just, it was so because of my age, I've been there from the beginning. And when you watch episodes, you know, four, five, and six, you know, 77, 80, 83. Okay. And you, and you, and you know, the history of the story, right? You listen to the story of George, George Lucas saying that he basically roughed out the idea of episodes one, two, and three, in seven, eight, and nine. So you're thinking maybe possibly they'll make more. He finally did. It was one, two, and three. Loved it. I, I understand the issues with one, two, and three, but I was grateful for him putting it together. And then he sold it to uh Disney and they said they're making seven, eight, and nine. I'm like, sweet, okay. And so this becomes the capstone, right? This is the end, so to speak. So I wrote down some notes, things that I copied from uh, watching this video. I thought about doing is watching the trailer again and just talk about some things. I also want to mention something I heard about in the one the one hour, uh, actually hour and a half, um, a panel they did. Okay, well, I don't have any grandkids. Okay, so that's the thing. My kids, yes, my kids are all. Uh, I did take them when they re released the three, the original three in the theaters. I definitely took my kids to see Episode Four, A New Hope. I don't remember if I actually went to see episodes uh, five and six. Okay, but I don't have any grandkids yet, so no. <laughs> Not quite there yet, okay? Ah, uh, fairly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I am old enough to be a grandparent, okay? But, you know, anyway, so here we're going to do I'm going to watch this trailer again. I'm going to talk about it. And I also noticed that Watch Mojo broke it down. They already did that, okay? So. So the first thing you hear is someone breathing. I'm assuming it's Ray because we're going to see Ray here, okay? And apparently Ray was breathing heavily. Now she's trying to calm down, okay? I don't know what planet we're on. Are we on Jakku? I mean, it may kind of make sense a little bit, right? I don't think we're on Tatooine. Are we on Jakku? I heard that they did the filming in Jordan, not in Tunisia. So Tunisia always was Tatooine. I think Jordan was Jakku. And so what I find it interesting is that, see this, okay, so there's Ray. Iconic. Is she a, is she a Skywalker? A lot of things out there we don't know. Kylo Ren said in the last movie that you're just a kid of but basically nobody is okay. Just calm down now. We've passed on all we know. So Luke, obviously, right? They were saying words, only know half of them. Okay. 
Um, you can see that she's got the, the lightsaber that was broken at the end of The Last Jedi, okay? So we definitely know from the panel there was time between um, Jedi and this one. So she fixed it, looks like. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your find. So Luke, I don't, it sounds like he's talking to her. But we don't know all these overlays, right? Who knows, okay? You know, but anyway, she has a lightsaber. Here she comes. Now, mind you, this thing's coming is got to be uh, Kylo Ren, looks like. And this is one of her abilities now. I know people people say Mary Sue her, okay? So every generation has a legend, right? We know Luke was the legend of his generation, apparently. Or is he still, still a legend? It was Anakin the legend of his generation? I mean, he was until he turned bad and all. I understand she's 100% Mary Sue, okay? So, but I'm still enjoying the movie, okay? So, I think we're at Jakku, even though we don't see any wreckage here, so we're not sure where we're at. So, they filmed this in Jordan and not Tunisia, okay? Now, she turned around, obviously, right? You can see all the distance there. There's the actual TIE fighter coming at her, but she turned around. So, you watch this. This is kind of cool, you know? She's timing it. There she goes. This is an awesome lead, man. I love the graphic here, okay? If this is literally a real machine, well, I don't know, because I think ducking would have been would have been hurt because the uh the exhaust of the engines, okay? If this is really not CGI but a real machine, well, I, yeah, there's some clearance there, but I mean, I love this graphic. It's just fantastic graphic. Don't know. Don't know what cut in half. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. Now, of course, here's Kylo, right? I mean, I don't know who he's attacking. They're wearing some kind of like uh, outfits that are not quite um, re uh, uh, rebels or alliance or whatever you call it. Call it, okay? Watch her saber. What about her saber? Hang on, I'll come back to that, okay? Now here he's fixing his helmet. He broke this. During Last Jedi, he was so mad he broke it. So I don't know. There's the the gang. I was like, "Yeah, Lando!" I was on stream with uh, Alan and Jay. I said that Lando. It's like, "Yeah, I see you back. I'll get back. Hold on, I'll go back. I'll go back. Hang on, I want to go through this first, okay?" Now this part gave me goosebumps, okay? Like I said, I've been there from the beginning. Knowing that Lucas had nine movies in, in place, this is the ninth one, this means it's over. The saga comes to an end. So as a Star Wars person, from the very beginning, okay, you know, it's like, this is it. This is the final one. I mean, I know they're going to make movies for Star Wars. They're going to do Mandalorian. They're going to do other stuff too, okay? Not like, not like this, but he always drafted out nine particular episodes. He did a, a beginning and an end, okay? I remember that from the beginning. I know things have changed, okay? So in the panel, they mentioned, JJ mentioned they had tons of footage of uh, Carrie Fisher uh, that was never used in the movies. And so therefore, uh, easy to splice her in, okay? It's no, mind you, I've seen that. I, I agree with you. It's probably nothing like his vision, but to me, it's still the nine movies, and we'll always be with you. Always be with you. Now that is interesting. I mean, here's a water plant that seems to be where Luke was at, but isn't that the eye? Is the centering eye of a Death Star of the actual planet killer? Really gone, Luke too, right? <laughs> Man, and then I heard that, and I'm like, the Emperor Darth Sidious Palpatine. I know that the whole thing. Maybe he's a force. Maybe he's a force ghost, Sith force ghost, right? Um, but what's kind of cool was at the panel, okay, at the end of they showed, as they showed the uh, trailer, okay. Show the trailer, and then this happened, okay? This happened. Watch this. 
The fans are watching the trailer. Wasn't Mark Hamill. Was not Mark Hamill. It was Ian McDermott, who is right there on stage. Look at that. He wasn't in the panel, but there he is. Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious. It's hard to hear in this particular trailer, but he said, roll it again in the Emperor's voice, okay? So that was, like, uh, another thing, right? So um, he's in the movie, okay? Or at least, you know, besides C-3PO, he is one of the only characters, or oh, actually in R2-D2, who's been almost in every single movie. He wasn't in Episode Four, the original one, but he was in all the other ones. So Ian, ba well, he wasn't in Episode 7 and 8, okay? But Ian Mc McDermott is kind of cool, right? So uh, I said I had chills with the whole, um, with the whole uh, end of a generation, uh, fixing his Kylo fixing his helmet, Lando is back, Palpatine, you know, and it's like, and the, the Death Star structure, maybe, right? And so uh, I thought that was great. Okay, so I had I had goosebumps, and so I'm I'm okay. Um, so I seen that says let's go back again and see. So he said. You might as well count Solo, Rogue One, and the Christmas special towards the movie count. I'm not counting the Christmas special, okay? Um, it's, that sounded like the Joker. No, it does not sound like the Joker, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, Alan, you got a point there. But the key point was that Ian was on stage to show that he's in the movie, okay? So, right now, you want me to go back to watch her saber. Go buy her saber. Her saber is Luke's saber, right? That's the one that she was broken. That's not all we know. I understand. I'm not saying it is Mark Hamill 100%, but you're right. A good point. I mean, when I first heard it, when I first heard it, I wasn't sure. And then when I heard it again, it was Darth Sidious. Then watching the um, one hour, the the uh, the very end of the panel, him him come out. He's chopping the tie fire in half. Okay. We'll freeze it. Okay. Is that Kylo or not? I mean, we knew Kylo flies this. No, yeah, kind of, it's kind of Tie Fighter. There you go. Yeah, it is down. It's down far enough where it looks like it's going right through the cockpit of that thing. Okay, so yeah, wow. Um. Uh, there we go. I mean, it's like, hey, look at, look at, look at that, look at this. Hey, look at, look at the. I turn actually turn on the, uh, I turn on the uh, uh, closed captioning. It says Emperor Evil Laugh. Okay. All right, fair enough. Probably the wing. Not yeah. You're right. Not a murderer. Okay. But look at this. The closed captioning said Emperor Evil Laugh. <laughs> Anyways, again, I'm excited. So I decided to do this instead of doing the uh, anthem. Um, I see that 